Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? I'm Soul Wolf, this is Soul Wolf Plays, and today we've got another special day. We've got another unboxing coming to you for um, Backwater Reptiles. We ordered another tarantula, so without any further ado, let me flip the camera around. All right, so as you guys can see, I don't have the best camera placement on the planet. But I'm trying to find So, again, kids, um, if you've got to open your boxes, if, you, if you're if you a kiddo and you're ordering a tarantula, have a parent open the box for you. Because knives can be dangerous, and I really don't recommend any child play with a knife. And I got kids and grandkids, guys, so definitely not down for that. All right. So oh, let's see what we got. Alright, it's packaged well. Excellent. Let's take a look at our girl here. Oh, see her. She's bigger than I thought. So, let's go ahead and get a light on there. But there's our girl. She is quite a bit bigger than I thought she would be. Um, so this is a Honduran curly hair, guys. And she's um, definitely bigger than I expected. So. So she is a Til Albatilosis. Okay. I always have such a hard time reading those guys. Let's get this out of the way, woo, camera mishap. Slight camera mishap, guys, I apologize for that. Oh my goodness. How about you stay stable for me? Anyhow, we've got this nice enclosure here. As you can see, it's a small little enclosure. And this one is good because it's got the slide lid on it, guys. I've got this all set up and ready to go um, with all the stuff we'll need for this enclosure. So in here we have our piece of bark, you know, for a hide. I did double check to make certain it was big enough. We've got some sphagnum moss here. And then this is some repta soil with a little bit of some um, um, springtail culture in it. So that that way, we've got a nice colony of springtails in there as well. So let's go ahead and get this in here first. Because we definitely want to get the soil medium in there. You don't need a whole lot, guys. Just enough for them to kind of burrow just a little bit if they want to. Just a bit. Like I said, guys, this does have an active springtail culture in it, so... We'll have some springtails to help keep it clean. Now let's go ahead and just a small spot here like this for her to kind of burrow into if she wants. We'll take this really nice little stone guys that I've got here and use that to kind of prop one end up. I'll use the flatter end there. There we go. And this way, she's got this nice, nice long spot to go run and hide into right off the bat. Throw a little bit of the sphagnum moss around, kind of along the back side here. Um, we do want to make certain it goes down past where the chance of her climbing out is going to be, but we're also not going to open her in a way that would cause her to escape. Let's see here. She's definitely ready to come out of there. And she does seem just a mite agitated. Hmm. Give me a moment, guys. I kind of want to make this standing up a bit higher. Because she's kind of big. I did not expect her to be quite so large. 
And I will admit that, guys, I did not expect her to be quite as big as she actually is. So we'll want her height to kind of be a bit taller. Let's go ahead and add the rest of this medium in so we can get it into her burrowing area. So she's got a nice comfy hide. And then, let's go ahead. Yeah, she's agitated, she wants out. And it looks like she just might be big enough to pop the lid. So, we're definitely gonna wanna do this. Damn it, camera malfunction. Oh my lord, stop! Sorry guys, I've got a really bad tripod, so I'm gonna try and change angles here a bit so that it's not acting so dang stupid and wanting to fall over. Because I do not understand why my tripod doesn't want to stay stable. It just wants to keep slipping forward. Which is becoming aggravating, guys. So I'm gonna flip this real quick. Just angle it the other way around. Like so. That way it's a bit more stable. Gotta make certain you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, so now that I've got that moved into a better spot, again, we're gonna try this without her taking off. No, no, no. All right, yeah. Come on. God, the last thing I need is her trying to bolt. And I'm definitely nervous because I've had a couple bolts already. And so I'm not okay with this one and that. Let's set this here so that so she's not likely to just try and climb out at the moment while I get her to. Alright, so let's see if we can coax her out. I really don't want her trying to make a slip for it. Oh, she's very cute. I really need you to turn around for me. Okay, so she's not wanting to come that way, guys, so I'm gonna have to do this kind of a tactful way. Which bothers me because I'm always worried she's gonna bolt when I do shit like this. I also don't want to accidentally grab one of her legs. I know, you're clinging on for dear life at this moment. I know. We need the sphagnum moss to go in there with her as we can. She burrowed deeper. Oh, you're cute. That's cute. Give me a moment, guys, so I can pull the sphagnum out. Again. 
I'm so nervous right now, you guys. You have no idea how nervous this makes me just because I don't need another bulky tarantula to take off. Like I said, guys, we have definitely had that happen. And I am definitely shaky at the moment. Come on, sweetheart. She's burled all the way to the back side now. Oh yeah, she's definitely not wanting to come out of there, is she? Hi, sweetheart. So I'm just gonna gently tap the jar. She just doesn't wanna come out. I really need you to turn around, sugar bear. Come on now. This worries me so bad, you guys. I don't know what to do at this moment. Cause she doesn't seem to wanna come out. <laughs> so, we got the sphagnum moss removed. She's in her jar at the moment, just being a pain. So I'm going to see if I can locate a paintbrush. I will be right back, you guys. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've got a paintbrush here. She has kind of gone to the back there. Let's see. We can just use this brush. I don't know. I need to come in the other way, baby. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, you guys. All right. So, let me go ahead and pop this off of its stand so we can get a far better look at her. All right, so she's in there, guys. Now let's see if we can get a better look at her. Now that I've got my stand removed, let's go ahead and get around real quick. And there she is. In her nice new home. So get used to it and get comfortable. We do need to get a water bowl in there, which I'm going to go grab right now, and we'll put that in there gently for her. She is over near the opening though, so. But isn't she pretty? They said she was only gonna be a half an inch. She is quite a bit larger than that. But I love her to death. She's just beautiful, guys. Look how gorgeous she is. Again, she is unnamed, so guys, if you wanna help me out, um, leave in the comments below that what name you think that this little beautiful girl should have and I will select from the top three best and we'll have a vote about it on Twitter. Isn't she just beautiful? Stretching her legs out and getting comfy. Anyhow, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today. I know I did. I always love it when the new spoods come in. So I'm really, really glad that I can start showing this for you guys. Um, I do also have an unboxing gone wrong video coming out, so Stay tuned for that. Otherwise, guys, I'm so glad you were here for me today. I love you guys so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. And if you'd like to see the previous unboxing, check right here. Bye, guys.